because it's both. Have you noticed how the gap between the ages are so great? The old women interested in young men. And the usual old men interested in young women. And each of them tell the young, the older usually tell the young in both categories the same thing. Mm -hmm. You're so mature for your age. Mm -hmm. You just seem to understand. Where did that come from? Oh my goodness. When I was your age, I was playing hopscotch. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even do double dutch. And here you are, expounding philosophy. Oh, how do you know all of this? Uh, oh, it really? <laughs> and it never occurs to that young person that I'm dealing with an M2O old person. <laughs> this person hasn't developed a past seventh grade and I'm on working on my dissertation. <laughs> Life allows us to be steadfast and stable yes. where we are if we take a step at a time. Amen. But when we try to skip up the ladder okay. to appear to be something we are eventually going to be, Amen. we are out of place and out of time. Amen. And it can it doesn't bring a basis for which the relationship that's being pursued can have a stable start. Amen. 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 In the scripture, the word of the Lord comes to Amos. And Amos, if you have to say amen, please. Amen. Comes to Amos and he's concerned, God did, about Israel's disobedience. And he's forewarning them about the chastisement or punishment that's going to come to them for doing wrong. But he's also reasoning with them. How many of you have ever gotten a whipping from your parents and then they start explaining to you all the truth, what the Bible will say? And you know, yes, ma'am. Didn't I tell you? Yes, sir. Here comes the last time. We so agreeable because we're hoping it'll cut now today, it'll cut down on the number of SWAT. Back then, it would cut down on the. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now, I know a lot of people may not understand that. Some of you out there in uh, straight land, you may not understand it. But punishments were not measured by how long you sit in the corner. Amen. It was how long it took to bring you to, to put you back in your corner. <laughs> it wasn't quite that bad. My sister gets on every time when I talk about it. She said, if it was like my brother says, you would think our parents were uh, operating a slaughterhouse. <laughs> but when it was going on, it just was not convenient. For the person being loved in that way. <laughs> and when you get grown, you don't want to repeat it. Amen. You don't want to be beat on. Mm -mm. Husbands and wives, when they marry, he doesn't have a right to raise you. All right now. Amen. He's marrying you because you were raised. Amen. A way that made him satisfy with the result. That's right. Amen. It should be the same thing why she married him and God approved of it. Amen. 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 That's why there is a uniform vow you make when you marry. So everybody who marries in a Christian marriage should be saying and promising the same thing based on the word of God. Amen. I will write my own vow. Okay, I love your beautiful eyes, and I want you happy. Only tears of joy running down them, and you doing all the things that we can do together so we can smile. 
I'll make you lie. Cold word when it's funny. But when it's not, you just have to. And they finish all this pretty stuff they ought to be saying at honeymoon. But you're in front of a bunch of people who are taking seriously your promise. And when you say it openly, you're going to be judged openly. That's right. Dearly beloved, we gathered here together today before this company and God to join together in holy matrimony this man and this woman. Marriage is in holy estate. Now if we stop right there, you can erase everything except I do of your vow. Because most times what you're promising has to do with something that is simply physical. Yes. And it's only benefits come when the physical is gratified. All right. So when the physical is gratified, the emotional is uplifted. Okay. But it does nothing for the spirit. Yes, It is only yes. a mistake. Yes. And should not be entered into unadvisedly. Amen. 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 I speak about marriage because our unity with Christ yes. has the same implication. Amen. The words of Amos who was among the herdmen of Tekoa, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah, Chapter, that was one. But that's who Amos is. <laughs> Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, not in your name. O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, I see, I'm just mad at the husband. I married the husband, the wife, and the children. <laughs> you know, when we were kids, somebody say something to you. I'm going to tell my mom, tell her. Bring your mom. Bring your dad. Bring your whole generation. <laughs> they say that. But when the mama come, they don't want to see anything to do to daddy or them brother. <laughs> and they know the sisters today, if they like the mama, they will tell you the truth. <laughs> But when the person is not there who you're going to bring, they still talk back. But God made Israel. He made a promise to Abraham that his seed would be great. And that there will be people that the stars don't number. That the sands on the sea don't number. And all of these people, as diverse as they are and will be, will be brought to a single place of unity Amen. by that seed he promised to bring through his Lord. Amen. And it was through the line of Jacob that Jesus came. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Seems like we're getting mixed up there for a while. Mm -hmm. Abraham had Isaac. Isaac had Esau and Jacob. And Esau came out first. Mm -hmm. And it looked like Esau had gotten it. Mm -hmm. And then Jacob came out. Mm -hmm. It looked like Jacob had gotten it. And then they began to play. Let me tell you something. You better stop your children from making the kind of deals that last a lifetime. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're giving your child something, a value. Mm -hmm. They go to school and come back with a turtle. <laughs> and you give them your grandfather's <laughs> heirloom <laughs> solid gold watch. Wow. And the person who gets will take it to the pawn shop. Yeah. Or take it to the street or anybody who gives them what they want for it. Mm -hmm. 
The point is they're not going to cherish it. They're not going to honor it. They're not going to mean anything to them. And the agreement they make out there in the schoolyard or at the playground or in your backyard is going to stand. Because if the man who sells it doesn't know who he sold it to, they just happen by and say, hey, you want, you want a lot of life? Yeah. <laughs> Your thing is gone from you. And somebody perhaps in another state is telling time about your grandfather's heirloom watch. This is what happened with Esau and Jacob. They said that somebody was hungry. Yeah. And somebody understood, well, not with all detail, but he came to an understanding, and I'm trying to bring in the term understanding. He came to an understanding of what this thing was worth. And when he understood to his satisfaction what it was worth, then he was ready to broker mm. the one who had less understanding. So he can end up, as we are a capitalist nation, with a good financial profit, mm -hmm. a physical profit, mm -hmm. a profit that meant something to him and it was less the true value of whatever the exchange was going to be. Mm -hmm. So they said that, brothers, twins, and one said, I'm Give me some of your food. No, man. You shouldn't eat eaten all yours. I tell you what. I give you anything. I'm so hungry I'd die. Now, if he hadn't eaten for another two or three hours, he wouldn't die. Mm -hmm. But his flesh called for what he right, wanted all right, then. All right. Young ladies, mm -hmm. you know what the guys will tell you? I get sick. <laughs> You just don't know. It's kind of you don't know how even a man. We be we we we. Then you then you got me all worked up. He got worked up himself. Don't don't we? Wake up. You know you work up work yourself up. You work yourself up before you even come see him. Your mind is all worked up about. Now I'm gonna throw this on. When I say that, she gonna say that, and I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say that. She gonna say. That. Oh my goodness, you so smart. <laughs> Throw all that heavy stuff on him. Throw all that line and, and he'll roll. That you stole out the yard next time. You may not have stole it. You may actually want it. But it's still coming to a same end. Man. And that end is to get what I want for me. Amen. And if you're happy for me while I'm getting what I want, great. That's it gravy on the potatoes. But I'm not here to make you happy. I'm here to get what satisfies me. And when I've gotten what I want, then hopefully you can wake me up and get what you want. Oh, that's the truth. Amen. Amen. The man will sell you some drugs because he wants your money. He don't care if you lose your mind. That's right. Amen. He don't care if you lose your children. That's right. That's right. He don't care if you lose your spouse. Jeez. Your job. Yeah. He'll lease your car for a piece of crap. And you'll get into it. Because your flesh is calling for something. Yes. Yes. That you have not built up strength in your spirit to overcome. Yes. Of Galatians, the Bible says this war goes on continuously. Yeah. 16th verse, I think it's the fifth chapter. This war goes on between the flesh and the spirit. They war against each other, and they are by their very nature contrary one to the other. Yeah. Amen. And the only way you're going to operate in sync to any degree is if there's an agreement. Amen. There must be achieved an understanding to which stipulation on both parts 
is made and commitment to compliance. Amen. You must accept a common authority to enforce Amen. your agreement. Amen. The word of God comes to Israel saying, I'm the one who brought you out of Egypt. Yeah. And I chose you of all the nations of the peoples of the world. To be mine. To bless you. Not because you were worth it. Amen. Just as God chose them because they were smallest. And weakest. To show those people. In Egypt. His strength and power. Yeah. I chose to live you. got to something to your great great granddad. I'm not doing this because you were such good people. In Egypt. Mm -hmm. You went into Egypt, you were getting it good. Mm -hmm. You were put into the best land mm -hmm. because a head of your clan had a favorite, a favorite son. And a favorite son was what you were jealous about. Mm -hmm. And your jealousy caused him to be sold into slavery. And it was the slavery you all sold him into yes. that I delivered him from. Yes. I delivered him from the Ishmaelites mm -hmm. through a sale of person. Mm -hmm. And he was sold to Potiphar. Yes. And I delivered him from Potiphar through what seemed to be a curious and conflicting paradox of circumstances. Yes. He was accused of something. He did not do. Amen. And thrown in prison. But there, even there, yeah. God gave him faith. Amen. Don't let what disappoints you make you think you still don't have favor with God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can do everything you. you thought you were going to have. Yes, Lord. For no reason of your own. Yeah. But God is still faithful. Yeah. Hallelujah. A good work in you. Yes. Hallelujah. He's able to perform it you, until the day you, of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Because there was something between God yes. and Abraham. All right, now. Something between God, his spirit, and his word yes. before the world was made. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To which the word and the spirit stipulated. Yes. Whoever you are. Yes. I've chosen you and me. Yes. Before you even come Thank to this earth. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And while you go into bondage. Yes. And a cat for hundreds of years. Yes. I'm still God. Oh Lord, yes. I'm your keeper. Yes. Besides me, there is no other. Oh, yes. I'm your healer. Hallelujah. When you are called dead. Yes. I can call yes. you. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you got to remember yes. what you promised him. Yes. Amen. Amen. I think we kind of got a little ahead. Okay. But you can't get ahead of the Spirit. No, Hallelujah. 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 Israel yes. selected yes. of all the people of the earth. Yes. Now, look around you. In this very country, where the outset of our founding as a union started with the worst went in the course. A human event. It becomes necessary that government is be established among men. Then it goes on down the line as the establishment said. But if this government deriving their just powers from the consent, the stipulation of the government. But when this government comes to a point where it's unbearable, it's unacceptable to the end of not doing what the promise called for, it is the responsibility yes. of those being governed yes. to cast that government off. Mm. Amen. Amen. Now you can do that if the government gets the power from you. think your flesh gets his power. All right. From your lust. Jesus. James said when lust is conceived, it brings forth sin. And when sin is finished, not when you finish sinning, okay. but when sin is finished, yes. right. see, sin gets through it, you. Yes. And the one who is the author hey. of sin, yes. the father of deception, yes. the daddy of life, yes. when he gets through it, you. Because yes. he don't have a house in the first place. Right. How you gonna kick a homeless person out of his house? <laughs> you cannot be evicted yes. out of the streets what? into deeper street it is. Okay. Hey. Hey. Here in this city, and she's right, they try to put you out of the streets into another town. Yes. But at least they'll try and buy your bus ticket to get you out of here. Amen. It's because they don't understand God's promise to you. Yes. God promised you something that no man can give you. Yes. God promised you something yes. no woman can take away from you. Yes. God promised you something no government has power over. All right, now. Whosoever believes in him does not perish. You got to hold on to your hope. But have eternal life. Yes. And you don't have it on your own. You don't have it because of your peculiar qualification. Okay. You don't even have it because of your application. Mm -hmm. okay. You put out an application about everything you can do, and everybody who knows something about that thing you can do and got your application will call on you. Right. Say it another way. I'm cute. Somebody will call on you. I got a six pack. Somebody will call on you. I got a job. Somebody's going to call on you. Amen. The women love me. The men can't get stay away from me. Somebody's going to call on you. Amen. 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 Your application is your daily walk. Mm. Woo. Jesus said to bring this thing in like it ought to be. Mm. Let your light so shine, so shine oh, yeah. before men. Yeah. So stop letting your light just shine in your prayer room. All right. Hey, all right now, preacher. In your deep thought and meditation, yes. God is God. Yes, oh, but I don't have strength. But God yes. is hungry. Yes. Let your light shine. Yes. Hallelujah. In such a way that they'll see your good work yes. and no good work. You couldn't do that. Hey, that's right. Mm, I stink. You wouldn't dare give me something all the time of day. Mm. I'm bragging. He wouldn't come up to me or let me come up to him. Mm. A book is coming out of my nose. <laughs> he ain't going in his pocket for that. Amen. I am an addict. But he don't care whether or not I eat. 
because I don't care. Mm. I'm in this emaciated, emaciated condition because I haven't been eating. Because I've given power to my flesh. I stipulated to my flesh. I advocated my strength and influence and authority from God over my flesh. Yes. Oh. And when a war is going on, that's not the time to surrender. Amen. Because the battle is God's and God is a spirit. Yes. They that worship him, they worship him more than on Sunday morning. Amen. They that worship him, they worship him by the lives they live. Yes. That's why God desires such to worship him. Amen. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So if the spirit is surrendered and stipulates to the will of the Father. Yes. Consists to the will of the Father. Yes. Conform. To the will of the Father. Amen. Is led by the Spirit of the Father. Amen. Then they're his sons. Amen. And as his sons, his promises to them are for everlasting oh, to everlasting. Yes, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You don't get off having to do righteousness because you broke. You don't get off having to do your commitment because you're angry. Amen. You may not be able to do it in the spirit you are in good, but you're still required to do it. That's right. Well, somebody told me, you may laugh at me, but Saturday night, I tell you what I did. She was married, too. Went to the club, and I was looking good. Let me show you a picture. Pull out that expensive phone and show me the picture. All the men were telling me how good I look. Don't I look good? I see that picture. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it trapped into that if you want it. But it's a trap. Amen. Not every compliment is the truth. That's right. Most times it's flattery. Amen. But if you're going to speak truth, you can speak it without hesitation. Amen. Let, let me see how to say this. Uh, I just think. Uh, wet t-shirts are okay in their place. <laughs> no, that ain't no truth. Amen. Amen. And everybody was telling me how good I look. <coughs> and you marry. Put down a fishing pole and get rid of the bait. Mm. Because if you're not catching anything, you keep the same line of water and the bait begins to sink. And right from where you are, right around you, cats will come after the bait. Mm -hmm. And the thing you thought you were going to get, why you find out the cats going to steal your bait yes. off the hook. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to be nothing but a hook. Mm -hmm. no, but, you are mm -hmm. but that's all you're going to be a bear. That's not a catch for anybody. Oh Ooh, a piece of metal with a little curl on it there. Stick me in my mouth. How, are you crazy? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> and any fish that dumb, I wouldn't want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fish. God has chosen us <laughs> after his will. And that choice did not stop being in effect. His promises did not end because they sinned. Amen. There was a consequence for yes, the sin. That's right. And the basis on which he's getting them to understand why they should accept their chastisement mm -hmm. is because of what he's already done for them. Amen. That's the second verse telling them that you're going to be... Um, punished for your iniquities. You're not, you're not just doing wrong, you're not repenting. Mm. Look at America. You're not repenting. Mm. We may think we can rebel and throw off the shackles of the big government. 
think that if you want to, but just as sure as you bruise your strong daddy. Because mm-hmm. he wouldn't let you wear the kind of dress you want or the niggas you want to get for golf or, or go to the party with your friends. You cause him to lose influence in your life. Mm-hmm. And when the dudes come to take you over, you're not going to listen to him out of habit. Mm-hmm. He goes, no, no, don't go with him. I know how y'all are. You don't trust nobody. Everybody after me. <laughs> I'm in more than under the garments. Everybody don't want what you think they want. <laughs> they got sitting there with dirty magazines in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> got a painting, a tattoo on his chest that I'm going to get her. That means yours, your child. And I'm supposed to say, oh, these young people today. These young people got old ideas that came from the garden. Mm, all right. Satan started me- trying to mess up man from the beginning. Yeah. And he's been effective. Mm-hmm. If man was only subject mm. to the rules of the earth. Hallelujah. Yes. When it was only one thing you had to do, mm-hmm. obey this one rule mm-hmm. of all the hundreds of thousands of trees and herbs. There's no evil on that one. Okay. Okay. And here comes the minister. You still heard it? <laughs> yeah. You gave me? Legitimately not one. Amen. Sitting right here, he. What's he doing on your business? Man. Sir, I think you need to go and ask that of your mother. Amen. <laughs> because evidently you didn't come from somebody who taught you right. Amen. She must have found you somewhere on the curb. Or you must have been hatched out of some rock. But somebody needs to school you, Mr. Amen. That's none of your business. Amen. Are you? If you want to know the answer to these kind of questions, ask them about yourself and enjoy you. Amen. Because the most joy you can get from me is you enjoying yourself. Uh-huh. Get out uh-huh. of me. Amen. Then he's going to come back and tell you who you're talking to, officer. <laughs> Amen. I can't say nothing to him. He's in my same condition. Get away from me. Amen. You understand, walking together, agreed that we're going to share that we're going to share a hotel room. That we're going to share, that we're going to share life's ups and downs. Does not give him right to step over into you, the person. Amen. Amen. There are things that I don't know about the things in my life. We've been married 38 years. Amen. She's supposed to have thoughts that I don't know. Amen. Just like I was supposed to have thoughts she doesn't know. Amen. But the one thing we stipulate to, God said. Yes. That's the one. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't ever ask God. God. It's okay if I have him. <laughs> God. I can have her. And you want to be a question, answer, and then wonder why you don't get an answer from the Lord. Young ladies, if he's cursing you out now, he's going to do worse when you're married. Amen. That's it. That's right. If he hit you today, he's going to hit you at night. Amen. If he got get mad at you and go see his ex, he's going to get mad at you and go find a new one. Amen. And you'll be trying to keep up with the alphabet. Amen. And America doesn't have 26 characters. Some of the others got thousands of characters. <laughs> and they'll go claim some other culture Amen. Just to justify cheating. Yep. If a do before you do after. Yes. Amen. But if he comes to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. And recognize what God has done for us. Amen. Him or her in particular. There's a change that's going to come in your life. Amen. 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 I have, I have a number of issues that I wanted to. I'm going to say turn to this and turn to that. 
And I'm trying to condense it this way. For the last couple of years, we've been in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 for our morning response to reading. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, I'm going to ask you to open to that. Let me get let me get this one verse I want to get. Can two, verse 3 of English, walk together except they be agreed? Now that means this. Not that we agree, agree that the sun is out. Not that trees on both sides of the road. Not that there's a buzzard and not a seagull. <laughs> not even that that's north, south, east, or west, the direction in which we're going. But there is a accepted premise that from here to wherever my journey and life takes me, I'm going to walk with you. Amen. Amen. My, my, my children have journeys. I've committed from the time we knew they were in my way to be what God would have them to be. We committed them to God then. And he let me know, I'm a slow learner, but he let me know then there's nothing I can reach into her and do to help the baby. I can't reach there and change his diaper because you don't have one. Amen. I can't burp him. I can't feed him. Amen. But he's growing nevertheless. Amen. And we'll agree that it was not my effort that got the baby there. Amen. Because every effort a husband makes toward his wife in that interaction, a baby was conceived. How many children would you have in a week? <laughs> and and nine months on each one. <laughs> Swollen earlobe. Puffed eye. Bulges from the side and there's nothing from food. Amen. <laughs> it takes God to give life. Because before the husband and wife get together, before the man and woman get together, there's life and work they project yes. or present to come together. That's right. And they also will say the moment conception takes place, life has begun. Life began before it. Amen. Amen. But it becomes a unified life union. And it's there in the peace of God. Back in 2010, in a message about unity, uh, Minister Jesson, well, he was being Jesson then, said Jesus is the peace that brings unity yeah. to the body. Amen. You can't be unified in God and the devil and be at peace. That's right. And in that second letter of Paul to the Corinthian church, he said, Be not unequally yoked together with unbelief. Amen. Stop trying to fix it. Amen. If you are of God, you are of God, then he don't want you hooked up like that. Amen. Amen. If you are a pastor of a church and you have a brother relationship with another church and the pastor is a homemonger, you don't need to be hooked up with him. Amen. If he's green after filthy lucre, you don't need to be hooked up with him if you're not. Amen. Oh, y'all look funny. Amen. It's the truth. Amen. The way that the way contamination comes yes. is that one you're about. Yes. 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 
one little germ, one little viral infection. Don't you know it has an agenda? Yeah. Okay, just this once. And then when you start the show, all of a sudden, that once was too much. What's too much as long as you're not showing? And the proof comes out in the behavior of men and women when Maury is on. And y'all may have been agreed, but you are not. I was happier than that when I found out I was. And then when the boy came out, my wife was all steady. I went to the church to let the people at the church know I was all. But they weren't the first to know. Folk on the street knew. How did they know? It's a boy! I'm a dad! It's a boy! I walked all the way from the hospital to the church. Couldn't wait for the pastor to stop. Christian. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I was happy in the guy on Mari who found out he was not. But God is sadder than the girl who finds out he is not. When we don't stick to our agreement, yeah. there has been stupidity. There has been consent. There has been commitment. There has been compliance. And because something goes amiss, you mad at God. Who do you think you are? And then when you finally find out the folly of your ways. You think you have to forgive God. Uh -huh. My children don't need to forgive me for one I gave them. Yeah. I intended to give them every one they got. Yeah. And as far as I know to this end, except one, they deserve it. Yeah. My daddy didn't miss it once. And in fact, a lot of them he missed by not getting it to him. He just didn't find out or have the energy that was needed to fit what I had done. See, I could do some stuff at home that's worse than somebody does in the street. Because I know better. Amen. And when you know better, you're whipped with many stripes, the Bible says. Now, there are those of you out there who don't believe in God, you're lying too. Every breath of air came from him. You want to debate it and win it on the stage, fine, but there is a stage coming. And you try to prove to God when you face God that he's not there. I'll tell you this. It's the only place that's no place that you will be placed. Because it will be the absence of the presence of God. And that God you say doesn't exist for eternity alone for the fellowship he offered you. Amen. Amen. Instead of being a, be a doubter now, but there's few doubters in foxholes. That's right. There's few doubters on the street with a gun at your head. That's right. There's few doubters in the hospital when the doctor shakes his head. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Because it comes back to what emphasis you put on your flesh. It was going on here. Yes. Hallelujah. And that place of separation, the Bible calls it death. That's right. And a fourth case of it is described in the seventh chapter of Romans mm. by Paul. Something in me says do this. And I'm more to it, but something else in me says, don't do that. Yeah. And though I don't want to comply with the don't, something is pulling me down yeah. to do it. Yeah. It's a war yeah. 
in me. Mm. I have no personality. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not fully flesh, mm. but flesh. Oh, Jesus. Not fully spirit. Yeah. But a sense of right and wrong. Yeah. No commitment. Yeah. No agreement. Yeah. I can't walk together yeah. with either one of them. Jesus. Because when I want to do wrong, yeah. Something says, don't you know better than that? Yeah. But I want to go out. Ah! Something says, come on back down yeah. here. There really isn't any God. Uh, well, I'm broken. Yeah. Separated. Yeah. In me from me. Yeah. Because I think the mere feel yeah. is the me that's real. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, but I know Hallelujah. that God works says. Is not Hallelujah. 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 My bad deeds come from something I don't see. Yeah. I don't have to look at TV yeah. to know how to kill somebody. Yeah. I don't have to listen to a rock beat yeah. to know how to steal your wallet. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's something in this world. Yeah. A force that's influencing my flesh. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Three orifices of entrance. The lust of the flesh. Yeah. He'll come and touch me. Yeah. And make me think I want what I'm looking at. Yeah. The lust of the eye. Yeah. Who gets in agreement with the flesh's message. Yeah. Yeah. I got the memo. Mm. That's yours, my man. Yeah. That's for you, honey. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the pride yeah. of life Hallelujah. jumps on board. Yeah. And said, if it make you happy, yeah. do whatever makes you happy. It's right yeah. somewhere in the world. Jesus. But that's not where you are. Yeah. You're in the presence of God. Yeah. Everywhere you go. Yeah. And he says in Exodus chapter 20, yeah. Thou shalt have no regard yeah. before me yeah. in my presence. Yeah. Where am I? Yeah. If I take the wings of the morning, yeah. fly to the other part of the earth. He's right there. If I try to take a thought before the thought gets to my mind, he already knows my thought. If I say something out my mouth to try and flatter him, he knows exactly what I mean. I can't escape him. So why don't I just rest in him? Lord, what would you have me to do? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thinking you somebody, you nobody. Okay, if you're in a penthouse or in a back. Before God all flesh is the same. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God doesn't think any more of me than he thinks of, 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 of the guy. Well, I can't say that. Hmm. The fellow who did that hideous thing is, is evil persuaded. Jesus. To that girl and treated her like that. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 You want to blame everything you want. The blame goes to the devil. And if you blame the devil, enough blame on him ought to tell you to leave him alone. Amen. And make him leave you alone. Amen. The devil is nothing but a bully. Amen. And anybody that's in him looks to the devil to get their power from the devil to bully you. Amen. But God says, I'm here. Yes. I didn't give you no spirit of fear. Amen. Amen. But of love and a sound, love and a sound mind. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise and another thing, I didn't give you spirit or fear to go back into bondage. Amen. I don't care who's in there. Let them stay there by themselves. Let them die in a bottle and drink it all up and be stuck in a bottle like a ship. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise, the Praise the Lord. If God can deliver you from the bottle, he can deliver, deliver them from the bottle. Amen. There's a difference to be put when you have committed to God. Yes. Leviticus 10 and 10 say you're supposed to put a difference between holy and unholy. Between clean and unclean. And we don't want there to be a difference. Amen. There's a difference between married to a man and you are a woman and married to a woman and you're a woman. And that difference is to be put in holiness Amen. to men married. Go on and have children. That's why the pastor tried to pass the law first that they could adopt children. Because the program they got in things don't work. Amen. 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 Amen.
prayer that don't work, Amen. take them and put them on an island by themselves. Put all the lesbian couples on an island and all the homosexual couples on an island on the whole country. Oh, yeah. And see how long it lasts. The monkey babies. Warhol babies. It doesn't matter. You can't get from what God did not give. God didn't give it, you can't get from it. And what is the result is not God given. Amen. You got to be in the agreement and have it written out. I, I, I had it. You know, it's a funny thing. It's so pretty when I write it out to me. And I just love it when I see you lose your pages. But you don't lose the God that gave it to you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Twenty third May, nineteen two thousand ten. Ricky got up and he said this: We have developed an appetite for the things of the world. Mm -hmm. That's an element that entered the original agreement. Mm -hmm. Some people is just a taste. There was a young lady, um, that knows who I'm talking about. And a lovely family. But lovely families have problems too. Mm -hmm. my, my mother and father had a lovely family. But they had me too. Mm -hmm. And I was a problem. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. But what God gave them together and they did not argue with each other about a plan was not just a strap, but a strap. To keep God before me, not just in words, but in their example. Amen. And that example did not tolerate sin. Stop letting people trick you into tolerating sin like tolerance is a good thing. Amen. No, I don't tolerate a lot of things. You don't either. Amen. And the folk who want to be tolerated don't want to tolerate. Amen. Here in America for the first time. A monument was erected next to a monument holding the Ten Commandments. An atheistic monument. I don't want to put it on there about some guru telling me what to do. A guru grew into that. You grew into what you are, and God's the one who gave you the seed of life. monument to atheism. And you in a country that is saying they believe in Christ Amen. as a founding principle. And it's those principles that give you the right to do that. Amen. Suppose it was old Christian. You'd be chopped up in little pieces of meat. Amen. And even Christians today scared because they can't out argue. You need to be tolerant of people. No, I don't need to be tolerant. You're a thief, a robber, a burglar, and I need to sit up there and leave my front door open. Amen. You're a registered sex offender. You just got out of jail yesterday, mm -hmm. and you made a deal with the system of justice we have, and you didn't spend but three weeks for a string of them because a technical thing in the law. And I'm going to say, kids, go out and play in the yard. Mm -hmm. Just don't run out in the street. Because we don't have a fence. But he lives next door. Mm -hmm. She lives next door. And I'm going to tolerate that. You're out of your tolerated mind. Amen. God not tolerated with Israel. Right. God was just long-suffering. Yes, Jesus. Amen. He Amen. told us to be long-suffering and kind, but he never told us to be a fool. Amen. It's so a fool that knows you're about to shoot him that says, okay. That's foolish. Amen. I'm a missionary. 
missionary to Africa. I'm a missionary to the Dominican. I'm a missionary to Haiti. But I'm not going to let this all put a hex on me, I tell you. <laughs> That's a fool. Because it's power in darkness. Jesus. Amen. Amen. And when you're in darkness and you're developing in darkness, you're not just developing your flesh. Amen. You're developing an evil conscience. And wickedness that is not sensitive to how God loves his children. Amen. And I think he's growing and growing. You tolerate it. not in my house. That's what Joshua was saying. I'm intolerant. Y'all do what you want to do. But as for me and my house, yes. we're going to serve the Lord. Yes. And you can go with them other ones and you see what their gods were able to do with them again. You don't just say no. Hey. You can't talk meaning. Yeah. There's a look you can give them that means no. Uh, right. It means back off. Exactly. That means you don't want none of it. Amen. And just look. Amen. Yes. And when Miss Mitch, that looks stay to that person forever. Yes. Even when you're smiling when they change. You know, I know the people when you say <laughs> You've been in school having a boy look at you a certain way, a girl look at you a certain way. You remember a man in middle school? You know, I was saying that, but you know, you kind of gave me that idea. Well, now that you met it, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Frozen in time in your brain. And if you don't have a transformed mind, a renewed mind, it'll be in your mind and it'll block you from blocking out that image from back there. Amen. Brain is an ally to your flesh. When your flesh acquires an appetite, your brain holds it there. If you acquire an appetite for fried fish, your brain is up there. Everything associated with fried fish that it can take in at that time. It remembers the taste. It remembers the smell. It remembers the crackling sound. It remembers the golden brown finish. But just because you see some fish frying and smell some fish grease, and remember how it tastes doesn't mean you have an appetite for it now. Amen. Let me rush along. You're not no. When you disobey God, you automatically align yourself with the enemy against yourself. Mm. The will of God in your life, Jesus. when you come to him, is established or set there. And once it's set there, your responsibility is to develop it. Peter said, grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. How are you going to walk with him? Amen. And not be agreed to do that. Amen. 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 When you are tolerant of every this, that, and the other, you don't have time to be stable in your commitment to God. Mm, that's right. Paul said, if your brother is known to be a funnicator, don't even have done it with him. He been. <laughs> oh, Lord. Isn't it true? I don't have to agree with what he's doing to eat the food, you know. He didn't cook it now. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. God made Jesus Christ his agent for perfection in man on earth. Man. But before he came, it was by his word, God's word, that the foundation of the earth was formed. That same word was made flesh to dwell among us. And God brought into, let me see, I think it's Christ. Here. God brought into, into compliance yes. all power. 
powers, dominions, and everything else under him. And he's the one by which all things consist. That means everything is held together by Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You got a friend. Jesus was in a village. Mark chapter 2. And it was the, 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 the house he was in was packed. You ever been to a tent meeting and had no room to sit? Packed. But these guys had a friend who had palsy. Shakes. And when the shakes after a binge, he was born with this condition. And they wanted Jesus to heal him. And it was their prerogative to go up on the roof, tear open it, and let him down. Jesus was amazed at that thing. He said, Thy sins be forgiven. What? <laughs> Only God can forgive sin. I'm the son of God. Now, so that you know who I am, Stop shaking. Hmm. Later on, remember the wizard hand. So you know who I am? Stretch forth your hand. Whether it's on Monday or Sunday, is it not right to do good? Hmm. But it's Saturday night. I just got paid. I got to... <laughs> See, there's nobody here who remembers. They used to take them in boxcars. Or we're mixing down to the stockyard, drunk, on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. A lot of these preachers in nice churches, they don't know those who were before them really believed what they were preaching. Amen. They weren't trying to find a nice, neat way to make the people say amen. amen. That's right. Those men wanted God to approve of what they said. Amen. So they listened to what he told them. That's what I'm doing. We sit up and we, 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 we get so vain in our own interests and want stuff for ourselves. We preach until they have to stop the stop holdings of these people who got drunk because people start changing. Amen. When you change and come to Christ, there is a difference. Amen. If any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. Amen. He's a new person. He's a new entity. Amen. Old things have passed away. You know, it's funny. We tolerate the word. We tolerate the word of God. We'll sit there. Oh, boy, I thought it would never end. Amen. It went so long because you had to get cracked open first. Amen. Sitting up there holding tight as a hedged up cabbage. <laughs> Can't get a grain of sand in there. Because I know me. You don't know you. That's right. If you knew you, you wouldn't be doing to you what you're doing. Because what you're doing, you're going to be something later. Look back five years. Man. And ask yourself, how is being you like you know you working for you today? Mm -hmm. Still a thief. How then is this agreement reached? Simplest illustration is Jesus on the cross with two feet. One of them said, in the spirit of tolerance, if you are the Christ, Come down and save us too. If yeah. Jesus didn't hand him a pen and say he signed on the dotted line. Mm -hmm. There's no agreement there. Right. He that comes to God must believe that he is. Yes. And, 
a reward of them who diligently seek him. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. And faith is not always articulated out your mouth like somebody wrote a pretty script for you. Amen. We're not saved by figuring out a way to no longer be like we were. Amen. We're not saved because we think we read somewhere I ought to be different. But the Bible says we're saved by grace yes. through faith, yes. not of yourself. Yes. Yes. It is the gift of God. Lest not works, lest any man boast. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. And there are ways to boast yes. that don't seem like bragging and boasting. Yes. You get saved and all you have to now is money. And because folk give you money, you think you're on your road to heaven. You're getting your heaven here. All right, you better enjoy that ride. Man. Because after all you think you've done as a help to God in his little program down here on earth, he's going to tell you he never knew you. Man. He didn't say a word to that thief when he told him, come down if you are. But then there was another thief up there. This is what tells us the madness grace of God. Unmerited, unearned, unearnable, undeserved, undeserved. Yes. An, an act of the sovereign will and love of God. Yes. He said, this man has not done anything that he should be up here. You and me ought to be here. Yeah. We're guilty of what we did. Yeah. We're both thieves. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We walked that journey together. Yeah. We walked the life of a thief. Yeah. Amen. We were agreed. And it wasn't written down on paper. Yeah. When you stole, I stole. Sometimes we shared, sometimes we didn't. But that life ended us up here. He wasn't even in the syndicate. Mm. He was innocent. Amen. And I, well, I won't add to it. But I know Jesus was teaching in the street and in the temple. Amen. And the fame went out. You can't have 10,000 people be fed. And the word don't get out who did it. Amen. You can let somebody give away two loaves of bread today. And tomorrow, extra people are going to come for that. We go and we do clicks in, in, in Dominican and Haiti. First day, it doesn't even have to be announced. Before noon comes, the place is packed. Because the need is being met. That's right. They will come and they will stay. And if they don't get what they want, they will rush the table. And don't know that the medicine they will rush and take either won't do them any good or kill them if it's not according to the prescribed dosage. Bird gets out, is what I'm saying. He has done nothing to be up here. Jesus looked at him. And then the man said to Jesus, when you come into your father's kingdom, mm. remember me. Not always excite thought in me if I know that when Jesus is in heaven with his father, who I'm dying with, if he can remember me there, I can tolerate where I've earned to go myself. He said, I deserve it. But he remembers me. That's all I can ask for. Yeah. Jesus then spoke to him. In words full of grace, seasoned with salt, marinated in love. This mm -hmm. Don't care what you thought about. 
planned before. It died. Yes. And everybody thought that seed had fallen by the wayside. Mm. But that was stuck. It got in. And I knew it. Grace. Wherever your station is in life. Grace. Whatever your condition is. Whatever you have done. Grace. Yes. Perfect will of God. Grace of God. There have been murderers. Who changed and turned around. And share heaven with their victims. Grace! Because God made us. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He made us after his image. Loved us with an everlasting love. He made us agreement with our spirit. Yes. We don't know what to pray for as we are. Yes. His spirit searches our heart. And you wonder why the tears come to your eyes and no word comes from your mouth. God's grace yes. has spared you to search for words and just said, Two words. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. yes Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You spent your day, your life in agreement with yourself, trying to make it through life. The end is going to be. Because you are not enough to make an agreement for eternity. One man married three or four times said, um, Y'all jump on me about all these marriages, but I really take my chances with God. Why don't you remember what he said in the first place? Mm -hmm. 10 and 32, he said, call to remembrance the former days when you first were in life. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing that's building, built up in you now. Yeah. When you first believe, we're forgetting when we first believe. I believe because that preacher looks like he's going to come and snatch me out of the seat. <laughs> I believe because he preached about hell and I got hell scared. Mm -hmm. And if he want to go to hell, I say, hell no! I want to go to hell. <laughs> but to receive Christ in fullness, you must stipulate. Recognize that you're a sinner. Recognize that God's love for you is manifested in His grace because He's given you a word that can speak to your heart if your heart will listen. You listen to every damn little doctrine that comes out, but you won't listen to his love. So loved you. Everybody yeah, ought to. I mean, they just gotta do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? When you just want to, you know what you want to do, and you won't and you won't have nothing. Because if everybody did what they wanted to, those who have more strength than you would take yours. Amen. God has a law that says, I'll supply all your needs. According to my riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Won't you give him a chance? If it wasn't for his grace, you know where you've been. You know where you've been. But yes. said his grace today.
Losing the race 